living, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. National Council of Western Armenia pays tribute to Samuel Karapetian. Meeting of the President of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrayan, with the Hagian congregation. An earthquake of 3.8 magnitude occurred in Harbar province of Western Armenia. Protests that say no to war have been banned in Constantinople. On the occasion of Art Gesurenian's 116th anniversary, National Gallery publishes study devoted to artists. The sword in the Mahitri's congregation is 5,000 years old. The National Council of Western Armenia, led by Prime Minister Garnik Sarkisyan, paid tribute to the funeral ceremony of one of the founders of National Council of Western Armenia, Samvel Karapetian. Let us remind that on February 27, renowned Armenian monument expert, historian, philanthropist, chairman of the Yerevan Office of the Armenian Architecture Studies Foundation, co-founder of the National Council of Western Armenia, Samvel Karapetian, passed away. On February 23, at the invitation of Kurm Ghazar Sarkisyan, took place a meeting of the President of Western Armenia, Armenia Kabramian, with the Haikian congregation. At the beginning of the meeting, the President briefly presented his biography, episodes from the Artsakh Liberation War, as well as the history of the formation of the government of Western Armenia. He also presented the upcoming plans for this year and then answered the questions of the Haikian congregation. The participants of the meeting agreed to carry out joint activities among the population of Western Armenia to spread the Haikian culture, which will promote the Armenian national revival. These kind of meetings are planned to held regularly. An earthquake measuring 3.8 magnitude was reported in Harbor province of Western Armenia. The epicenter is located in the Sivirj province. The source of the earthquake is 70 kilometers deep. The Constantinople governorate has banned events and campaigns that say no to war on the territory of the province as well as the actions that will criticize the actions of the Turkish army in Syria. It is reported that the ban will be valid from 1st of March to March 10. Let us remind that in the evening of February 27, the Turkish army launched attacks on the positions of Syrian army, which caused panic among a large number of civilians. A significant part of the Turkish population is against the war and regularly organizes marches and other events. Events. On the occasion of the 116th anniversary of the painter, sculptor, architect Vardga Surenyant, the National Gallery of Armenia has published a scientific study devoted to the great artist which covers all areas of his work. The authors of the book are Victoria Badalian and head of the Department of Armenian Paintings, Haiku Hisaikian. According to Haiku Hisaikian, Surenyant's art has not been sufficiently studied in the context of his time for a number of objective reasons. The time has come to revive his artistic legacy in the 21st century. Much of work has been done over the last decades to study and classify his works kept in the National Gallery, which are reflected in this book. One of the oldest swords in the world that was mislabeled in a museum on the St. Lazarus Island, Venice, is around 5,000 years old, according to a new study, the Daily Mail reports. The older rare sword, which does not resemble most ancient weapons in the world, was made around 3000 BC and came from Western Armenia. However, the sword was contained in a cabinet as part of a medieval collection. It was only when a local PhD student and expert in ancient weaponry noticed the sword and it was removed for further analysis to pinpoint its date. It is believed that the sword traveled from Trapezon to Venice in the second half of 19th century. This is due to an envelope containing a worn out slip of paper that came with the sword. The note on the paper written in Armenian talks about a donation to Father Revond Alishan, a famous poet and writer, who died in Venice in 1901. Revond Alishan, who was a friend of English art critic John Ruskin, was born in Constantinople and traveled to Venice before his death. Further studies are being done on the weapon, the history of which is still shrouded with mystery. Now let us represent your attention a song by Heidi Gunazian. <laughs> Shah Nichers get in the shed. Arno San of Shun of Ker, Het Yaris, Kunen Mader, Im Yarochka Pacare, Arevitzeres Narek, Lus Nagita Star Deve. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.